My name is Katie. Welcome to my fluid art channel. Today I want to do a couple of split cups. I mean, I'm sorry, flip cups. Let me tell you about my colors. I love these colors. All right. I have a titanium white by Amsterdam. I have a Coral Extreme Sheen by Deco Art. This is a mix of magenta and uh, fluorescent violet. Beautiful color. And this is Artist Loft Level 2 Gold. This is it's called Pure Pigment. It's a heavy body paint. Uh, orange. That's my folk art. And then I have a yellow Master's Touch and a Pyrrole Red by Liquitex. I'm going to need two cups for this canvas. This is a 12 by 24. I'm going to start with just a little bit of white on the bottom. Then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the pyro red. All my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts flow trawl. And for this pour, the consistency is about a one second trace on top of your paint. Let's go in with this Coral Extreme Sheen. Beautiful color. Do a little more white right there. Some orange. Some yellow. Pyro red. Let's do the, let's go back in with this violet. Gold. Some yellow. Orange. The extreme sheen. Let 
Mm, let's see. Let's go back in with the got a little bit of red here. Let's do the violet again. That's a wild, pretty color. A bit of white. Orange. I may have just enough paint. Gold. Yellow. What do we have left here? A little bit more extreme sheen. A little more white. And we'll finish it with this violet. repurposing this canvas. I uh, did a pour on it and decided I didn't like it, so I scraped it off a couple days ago. All right, I think I'm going to flip them both right here in the center. Like right there. And right there. Oops. Now you could stick a pin in it at this point and release the suction, however you will get more blending. I wanted more definition in my colors. some of that yellow down here. All right, that's pretty. Of course, you're always gonna have bubbles when you do a flip coat.
pretty cups. All right, I don't think I'm going to need a flow extender. You know, just a little bit on the corners. That was a double-fisted flip. I haven't done a lot of flip cups. Um, but I see other, other artists do them, and I love the way they turn out, usually. And just like anything, you have to practice. We've got some lacing going on, we've got cells. I think I'm going to go to that corner down there first. Always bring your paint back to the center of your canvas before you go anywhere else. Sorry about that. You know, that Extreme Machine Coral is beautiful. We take it to this last corner and see if we need to make any adjustments. We should have enough paint.
Wow, that's pretty. I like that. This here is all the Extreme Sheen Coral, along with some Extreme Sheen Coral and Cells. I just dripped, but it just happened to match. Uh, when you're done painting, always scrape the bottom edge of your canvas. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's free. Uh, you'd really be helping a girl out. I'm going to take my gloves off, give it a final torch and then bring you down for a closer look. Love it. It's juicy. All right. Come back and check uh, every 15 or 20 minutes to make sure you're, you're not dripping more on one side than another. If you find drips, go ahead and take them off. If you have more drips on one side than the other, that means you're not level. Wow, these extreme sheen... Cells are beautiful. And I'm sure more will pop up. Now, there is no silicone in any of these paints. All right, I'm going to grab the camera and bring you down. All right. Beautiful. These cells here, that's the uh, Extreme Sheen Coral. Beautiful. I think the orientation is that way. It's hard to get the whole thing into my camera. These colors are just beautiful together. Got a little little lacing. This line here is really interesting. I'm not sure what that is. That must be the orange. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell. They'll let you know next time I upload. Let's see, can I get any further back? Yeah, I believe that's the orientation. Come back and see me again. Bye.